everyone, it's Miss Ruin. Today you're gonna to be working on a galaxy watercolor painting. It could also be a night sky. And the main thing that we're using today that we haven't tried yet is using salt. So let's go ahead and get started. These are the supplies that you'll be needing. You need watercolor paper, watercolor paints, brush and water, pencil and eraser, scissors and salt. That's the main thing that we're working with today. It creates a really neat texture when you use it with water and um, it's perfect I think for creating a night sky or galaxy. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see that I already have one over here that's drying. Um, some of the, fir the first thing that I'm going to do after I get all of my supplies is I'm going to start to create that night sky scene or that effect and I'm using colors that you might not think of for a night sky so if you look at my example over here that's drying I have red and yellow and blue and purple and all of that and that's what we're going to be doing so I am using my concentrated watercolors so the first thing I'm going to do um, with my paper is I'm actually going to create some wet blobs so we're using the wet into wet technique today so I'm going to just create three water blobs. Doesn't really matter where, but you don't want it to touch the edge because we're going to go in like you see here with blue later. And I'm going to start with red. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my red. And I'm going to add it to my blobs. I like to kind of swirl it around. It creates a more magical galaxy scene. Okay, maybe a little bit more. It's nice um, to not really, don't overwork it because you want some areas to be more concentrated and some areas to look kind of wispy and thin. So keep it light. Okay, so I'm gonna really wash my brush out here. There you go, now you can see. And I'm, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing next to my red blobs, but create yellow thin blobs, what kind of organic lines. So I'm going to do three lines kind of next to my three blobs, and I'm going to grab my yellow. And if it mixes a little bit, that's totally fine. You wanna get pretty close to the blobs. You don't want them to touch, but a little bit of bleeding, like one color into the next is totally fine. Okay, there we go. And you know, when you do the wet into wet, wet technique, you can't always see what you're doing, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do, now that I have my red and my yellow, is I'm gonna, add just a little bit of a darker yellow. So I'm gonna grab something, this color right here. It's, if you can see that, there you go. It's a yellow ochre, so it's a bit darker. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of my yellow ochre. I'm gonna add that directly into the yellow that I already had. It just makes it kind of pop. There we go. Okay, so now that I have my red and my yellows. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to add all this blue and purple that you see here on the left side in my previous example. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my blue. I'm gonna get my palette here so you can see. And I'm, and what you're doing with the blue is you can kind of direct directly paint into the space and then add water afterwards. And we're doing the same thing that as before, we're avoiding those other blobs. Getting really, really close, but avoiding them. And if it seems too dry, add some water to it because your salt only works if you have plenty of water on the paper. Otherwise, you're just putting dry salt on dry paper. And if you're wondering, how did I make that nice purple before? I'm just adding a little bit of red to my blue, and then it has this nice reddish purple. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I get this side. Okay. 
and you can take your time with it. I am always working quickly because I want to be able to show you all the parts. All right. And I'm trying to get in here. I want to leave some white space, but not a ton because remember it's the night sky. And um, yeah, so we want to keep it dark. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop right there. If there are some areas that don't look wet enough, I might add a just a touch of water. Maybe even in the red too. There. Now, this is the fun part. So grab your salt and you can gently sprinkle it all around what you just painted. And 